Hello there guys, welcome back to Isaac Football Club, welcome back once again to a brand new one, I hope you are doing alright around the world. This is your match preview, the last preview of the season, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this, this feels good, you know I'm so happy because we'll never see shenanigans again, we'll never see dodgy performance again <laughs> we will never see it again and i'm hoping next season you know those sickness and diseases they just disappear please we don't want to see them again this season has been just on fire it's like we're we are walking in the fire all the time i don't even remember what the wind feels like man i want to feel that I want to feel what Manchester City are feeling, you know, right now. I want to feel what Arsenal are feeling, although Arsenal, they are feeling shame, embarrassment, but they're in a good position. They're number two, playing the Champions League football, life is good, although, yeah, you know, they can cry about the title, it is what it is, they bought it, so that is another topic. <laughs> so, but to get into reality, they're in a good place. We got a lot to discuss. This is your preview, as I said, Newcastle versus Chelsea tomorrow. So we don't expect anything in this game. We know Newcastle, they have beaten us already. They're in a good form, you know. We can see the same thing like we saw against Manchester United. It can end up 4-1 or 4-0-5. We can see the same thing. But I, I saw some rumors like Frank Lampard has tried to talk to players, you know, tried to call them in his office to talk to them about the situation, this and this and that. Nothing has changed. So he tried. It's up to the players to do something. We saw the Chelsea women winning the uh, Premier League Women's, you know, Championship. They won that in uh, four times, I think six times in a row, the Chelsea women. My goodness. This team, the Chelsea women, they're just incredible. They're incredible. At least, at least we have something, you know. The end of the season, we don't have to see and uh, say, oh, we didn't do nothing. At least we can say we have won a title at the club. We have won six, uh, the Premier League women's, you know, they won. <laughs> at least we can say that. It is nice, you know. It doesn't have to hand in tears like uh, the other team, like Arsenal. You know, Arsenal is hand in tears for them. It's crazy. Now, Bayern Munich just won the title, the Bundesliga title, for uh, 11th time or 12th time. I think 11th time in a row. That's that team over there, Bayern. They are just dominating, dominating. But this season. They almost made a mistake. Almost. They came very close to uh, let Dortmund win. But congratulations to Bayern Munich for winning another title. You know, they just keep winning and winning after winning. But I have to say, Bruce Dortmund, they had this game in their hands. They had this title in their hands, you know. They bought it. They were two new down. They came 2-2. And they fell with the penalty. So that's on them. I, I, I watched the game and I'm like, come on, Bruce Dortmund, what are you doing? Yeah, you, you, you are reminding me like Arsenal, the way they did, you know? <laughs> why are you doing this? Don't do this. <laughs> I really wanted Bruce Dortmund to win. They haven't won that title in a long time. You know, it's always Bayern Munich, always Bayern Munich winning it. And this is why I'm scared in England it's going to be Manchester City over time, Manchester City over time. I'm scared about that. They have Ellen Holland, the guy is crazy, go machine scored in Manchester City. So, yeah, so there's a lot of things happen today. But yesterday, I talk about who's this guy? Um, Agate? Emmanuel Agate, something like that. Chelsea and PSG fighting for a midfield. The DM, as I say, this DM is perfect for Chelsea. It's perfect. The guy can face a player and can pass him just like that. Is that good? And this is what exactly we need next season. We don't have a DM who can do that. Although I said Lufka's cheek is very similar to that, but we need a manager who can 
unlock players like Lufkas Czech. You can see there's a potential there who can unlock certain players. Enzo Fernandez is perfect in that law. He just needs somebody who, aggressive who can run, you know, who can get into spaces like a DM like this guy I got here. Yeah. So without wasting time, let's go to the news. Let me show you the latest. Here it is. Chelsea are prepared to pay the 60 million release cranes for Manuel Agate, but with the payment teams like Enzo Fernandez, PSG is the same conversation uh, going on. And the player position will be crucial and he has to choose. Player included in the deal could be discussed. So player players in the deal could be discussed, but PSG and Chelsea, it's very tighty, you know, sticky tighty over there. They are negotiating about the deal about um, Agate, or oh, I said Agape. <laughs> Agate, yeah. So he's a good midfield, as I said. So after this one, that one from Bishop Emmanuel confirmed, and then from Bishop Emmanuel gave us another one. Check out this. Manu Agate has not made any final decision on his future yet. New around talks will take place in the next days. Both Chelsea and PSG have offered to match 60 million risk cranes with a different payment. Teams, players could be also included in the deal. As I said, yeah, players could be included in the deal. And we have a lot of players at the, at, at the club. At least we have that advantage. And that's where I'm looking. I'm like, I think this deal can happen. But remember, we are not in the Champions League. PSG, they're in the Champions League. That's the only difference there. But Chelsea, they big advantage. They can offer three players. <laughs> they can do that. So keep that in mind. We, we have that advantage and we can offer him a big which a big amount of money so yeah let's see what uh, this deal is gonna be when the transfer open mm, it's gonna be great and i cannot wait i'm telling you man i am telling you i cannot wait to get rid of this some uh, some of these players at chelsea right now i cannot wait i want to i want the clearance right now i want it <laughs> so this sunday tomorrow is the last thing we're gonna see some of these players. It's the last thing we're gonna see them, you know. I want next season, new players, new manager, everything new, we start afresh. That's gonna be very interesting. With Pochettino, we are waiting for announcement, maybe after tomorrow game, maybe Monday or Tuesday, we have to hear announcement. Pochettino is the Chelsea manager. That we want right now so guys let me know what do you think and remember this that guy uh ng post post group post growth celtic manager right from uh it's celtic manager i think so i i don't follow the uh the the rig over there but he won the league uh, you know there's a rumor came out i told them they want to appoint and post to grow as their manager so tottenham they're not getting manager right now you know it's a mess at the at the club tottenham club they don't have a sporting director you know and no manager wants to come to the club that doesn't have a sporting director i don't think so <laughs> no manager want that so tottenham they have been linked with post glue to become their manager but post to glue is saying is not looking into that yet it's focusing for a season and let and you will see what's gonna happen next season so yeah that is it now let's get into the match lineup the, as i said this is the last lineup of the season and i'm so happy so and the other thing we may see mason mount last game tomorrow we may see that but we don't know yet there's a question mark there Anything can change. Mason Mount can change his mind and just accept the contract and the money Chelsea are offering him, but we may see his last game. And the thing about Mason Mount, let me talk about it a little bit before I give you my match lineup. <clears throat> Mason Mount is not a rubbish player. Mason Mount is a good player for Chelsea. I am worried if he goes to Liverpool, certain system <laughs> players they thrive. 
They thrive, man. If he goes to Liverpool, I am very scared that he's gonna just rock up there to be Kevin De Bruyne. That's what I'm scared. If he goes to Arsenal, I am scared too because the system Arsenal play, you, you Mount playing that advanced low, he can he has energy, right? He can run and he can make goals, he can make assists, he can do you know what the manager want in a certain system. Certain system doesn't work. You can see at Chelsea, this system is not working for Mason Mount, Frank Lambert system. Thomas Tuchel, he worked. That's when we won the Champions League with Mason Mount because Thomas Tuchel knows exactly how to use Mason Mount and he wants Manchester United. So in Manchester, I will not worry much. No, I, as I said, I worry when it goes to Arsenal, Liverpool. But let's see what's gonna happen. Anything can change. You never know. So, finally, let's get into the match lineup. I haven't changed anything because, you know, it's done. It's the end of the Premier League until next season. Yeah. So, here it is. Keeper in goal. I put him there. I know he's gonna start. I know Frank Lampard won't change anything. I expected, you know, is he become a caretaker, the Chelsea manager. I expect something to change. I expect, you know, start using the young players, start using the people who are gonna stay here at the club. Why are you using people who are going already? So I was expecting him to do that, but no, that didn't work out. Didn't work out at all. So this is what I think Frank Lampard is gonna do. Although, maybe he won't do that. <laughs> it's just crazy, right? Sometimes he goes to back three, sometimes he goes to back four, sometimes he goes to back five, sometimes he, he goes to back 20, sometimes he goes to back 100. I, what, what, what is the system? We want to know the system. Come on. So, <laughs> so I start with Fofana, Thiago Silva, and Chalaba. That's the only, that, we have nothing to go for. This is what I can do, you know? Fofana has been in, in just in a horrible form. Chalaba, horrible form. Let's get it done. You know, the shenanigans, gone. <laughs> I don't care. If we lose tomorrow, I know we're going to lose. I don't care. I just want this to end. End this season now. <laughs> now. We have suffered enough. So, in I think I'll go to back three as I said and in the midfield is Garaga, um, Kavacic and Kavacic just is looking to leave Chelsea, Fernandez, Lufkas Cic looking to leave Chelsea and Louis O, up top, Felix and Detro Fofana. Play Detro Fofana, let, let the guy have fun. It's the last game, it's the last game. Let the young man have fun, please. Frank, Detro for fun. I remember that the Manchester United game after Manchester United punched us three nothing. That's where we saw Detro for fun comes in. That was like what? <laughs> what is that for? Kai Havert doesn't give us goal. Oh, Kai Havert. When did he score a goal in the Chelsea team? Kai Havert. I don't remember. It's been a long time. I don't remember. So this is my match lineup. This was easy because it's the last of his, it's the end of the season. There is nothing, there is nothing to fight for. We are safe in the Premier League, although we did not deserve to stay in the Premier League. Uh, Southampton deserved to stay in the Premier League because they won, you know. When we play Southampton, they won. Home and away. And they, they last, last three, they get relegated. It's not fair if you look into that. <laughs> It's not fair. Chelsea is supposed to get relegated. This kind of form we are in is just pff, unspeakable. Unspeakable. But tomorrow, as I said, guys, it's the last day of sickness. I hope. I hope. Next season, it's a new day, new dawn, and a new dollar. Now, let me know what do you think about Bayern Munich winning the... Bundesliga, I, I forgot I wanted to say La Liga, but Bundesliga, let me know about that, let me know about Bruce Dortmund missing it out, just like Arsenal did, they missed it out, very sad, you know, yeah, so what is your um, 
prediction for tomorrow Chelsea Newcastle let me know I have to know about that you know it's the last day of the Premier League so <laughs> let's end this shenanigans let's do it guys so yeah let me know I'll see you soon have a lovely day wherever you are and stay safe and God bless